We are so excited that you are here for this webinar. You are joining us because you want that clarity. How do you move from blank page to publish book? That's right. So we are really super excited that you are in the building today. We are going to get some really, really practical strategies to help you move from blank page to publish book. So we want you to make sure that you take out that notepad, that iPad, even the cell phone to take copious notes. We want to welcome everyone. I see Israel's in the house. Wow. George is in the house. Woo, California. Australia. New York City. Come awesome. On now. UK is in the house. We have so many people from all over, and we are so fortunate that we get a, get a chance to be your coaches and your guides throughout this journey. So let's go right into the presentation. Welcome to 90 Day Author. How to use the stories of your life to go from blank page to publish book in 90 days or less. The reason why we are so committed to sharing this information is because we remember that there was one thing that changed everything for us. That one thing was earning $15,000 in 15 minutes by doing what? Sharing our story. The three secrets to writing a success. So we're going to share with you those three secrets so that you too can be a successful writer and an author. Secret number one, the flower factor. How to develop new content and repurpose existing material to avoid writer's block. Secret number two, the oil factor. How we develop stories that don't just tell but sell and earn the 15k in 15 minutes. And finally, secret number three, the yeast factor, how to gain visibility and credibility by sharing your expertise with the world. Before we became best-selling authors, this was a little uh, like how we looked on a regular basis. Oh, yeah. We had so much potential on the inside of us. We were literally at a crossroads. On one side was our potential, and on the other side was possibility. We didn't know how to bring the two together. I remember one night sitting on the front porch, staring at my phone for hours as tears filled my eyes and their residue made tracks of salty sorrow on my cheeks. I sat there searching endlessly for ways I could use my gifts as a motivational speaker to transform the world. I thought, man, if I could just figure out what made other well-paid speakers like Lisa Nichols and Les Brown so successful, I too could one day be named amongst them. It would take years before we figured out that the one thing that each of these world-class speakers had in common was a best-selling book. You see, after crafting our message and becoming international best-selling authors, not only were we clear on who we are called to serve, but the marketplace was clear of our expertise and they selected us every time. You see, we moved from the salty stream of sorrow, fear and uncertainty to a steady stream of service, speaking on stages, at universities and at international events. We found that our story, our journey allowed the marketplace to be very clear of our assignment. And by sharing our story, it became the foundation to our success. As you are a part of this workshop, you too want to learn the secret, the truth of leveraging the opportunities authorship provides. So this is not a sales webinar. In fact, you will be actively implementing strategies that will help you to succeed as an author. So this webinar is different. First, there will be no fluff. We will give you facts that will help you get your book done. Second, this is specifically about how to use your story to make an impact and an income as a coach, a trainer, a speaker, owner, or consultant. Third, it will be action oriented. You will be actively doing, not just actively listening. So first we'll show you how we did it. 
Then we'll show you how we've helped more than 1,375 authors do the same. So by the end of this webinar, you will know exactly how to turn the stories of your life into compelling content that will allow you to write effortlessly and communicate your ideas powerfully so that your book is finished in 90 days. Hi. I'm Imwale. And I'm Chantal. And I'm originally from Trinidad. As you can hear from his lovely accent, <laughs> and I am a blue blood American. <laughs> and th this is a picture of our two gifts given to us by God. We have our son. He is uh, three years old. His name is Princeton. And Genesis, who is one year old, going on 11. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, really passionate about not just bringing our gifts to uh, each of you, but we are passionate about making an impact uh, and a difference to those who need it the most. Uh, we have studied from the University of Calgary, University of the West Indies, and I've studied at Adam Clark Atlanta University. An, an American university. And we are really excited. We have varying passions. You see right there to the um, left corner of the screen, I am an enthusiast of minivans, you know, really being able to live um, on the road. We love to travel and uh, I'm really, really excited about just the idea of creating a lifestyle on the go and more so creating a lifestyle that you don't need to take a vacation from. That's right. And I have found a little passion for fermentation. So I like to play around with fermenting different foods, as you can see on the right. So that's just a little bit about us. Um, but really, our at our core, uh, we believe that it's not so much about being successful as it is about being significant. In fact, we rescue geniuses from the confusion in their heads to a place of clarity and an abundant legacy. So we are the founders of the Best Sellers Academy, award-winning transformational coaches. We've been named as Icon Small Business Owners of the Year. And we've coached more than 1,167,000 1, people to create passion-based businesses. Wow. We've helped more than 1,375 people become authors, and many have become best-selling authors and have built best-selling businesses as a result. So this webinar is for you if... You aspire to lead in your passion and serve through your purpose and change lives. This is for you if you're a coach, consultant, or business owner or speaker looking to attract your ideal customers and grow your business. This is also for you if you have something valuable to contribute to make someone else's life much better. Now, this is not for you if you're not coachable and committed because you think you know it all already. If this is not for you, if you're not looking to share your message with the world. And this is not for you if you are comfortable staying stuck and that you are unwilling to take action. So why this and why now? Now, number one, your book is a seed. When we look at this picture of a seed and its process of breaking ground, it represents all that you've gone through all the hills and the valleys, the victories and defeats, what you've learned in your professional career was to hide your failures and to promote your victories. But truth be told, in an age of authenticity, no one is attracted to the perfect picture anymore. No one is impressed by your accolades and your polished look. They want to know about the hell before your hallelujah. It is from this place of transparency, all what you thought you needed uh, to bury is actually that secret sauce that will get people to like you, to know you, and to trust you. Writing your story is about turning your story into a best-selling masterpiece. It moves you from those dark moments, from simply being buried to now being planted. You see, when something is buried, there's no expectation of a return. However, when your life's journey is now a seed, it now must be seen as something that is planted. It means you expect life after the valley, after this journey, after the pitfall, 
And people want to know what you did to overcome. They want to sit at the shade of your tree and learn what is your secret formula, your success formula. Your book becomes the foundation to that answer. Number two, your book is a gift. You are supposed to inspire others with your story. Because after all, your story doesn't belong to you. It belongs to everyone whose lives you are meant to touch. Number three, your book is a tool. Everything that you do will be built from your book. Your book is that foundation. You see, if you look within the industry, experts in every field have one thing in common, their book. That's right. Look at Lisa Nichols, a multi-time New York Times bestselling author. Everyone know Oprah. She has multiple best-selling books. And Yala Van Zandt has built her career off of the foundation of her book. So why are we doing this? We have a goal to help 1,000 people this year share their important message to the communities they are uniquely called to serve. And secondly, we believe that everyone was born to create a unique song in the earth. And we want to magnify that song. And number three, we believe that every great story should be told. You know, my, Maya Angelou said it best. She said that there is no greater agony than bearing an untold story on the inside of you. We believe that clarity is king. And your story, your story, is your secret sauce for success. And as a resilient woman, you are uniquely positioned to take advantage of this. So think about this. Strategy equals success. And in order to move forward in life, you have to have the right strategies to get you there. The same is true of your book. If you want to move from blank page to published book, you have to have a road map. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So let's break the cycle. Let's break the cycle that keeps us in procrastination and let's go straight into inspiration. So you're probably wondering, can I really write my book in 90 days? Yes, you can. When you apply the three secrets that will allow us to help you, to support you, to show you how to get it done. So we like to think of these secrets as making bread. You see, bread is a staple food in most homes. It fills, it quells every hunger pain, and it satisfies. As a soon-to-be author, you are in a position to make your story a staple to bring everyone to the table of possibility. Remember, bread is your ability to nourish people with your message. Serve them from your provision. Feed generations from your, from your legacy of wisdom. So in order to make that bread, there are certain ingredients that are required. The first ingredient is also our first secret, the flower factor. How to develop a new content and repurpose existing material to avoid writer's block. So you might be in this stage, in this flower content, whereby you have a lot of ideas, thousands of ideas, but they're not organized. But they are meaningful events and experiences that have occurred in your life that require a system so that you can move from blank page to publish book. So let's tackle the first myth. And that is, I don't know what to write. I have so many ideas, but I still feel stuck. Truth, the truth is you already have all the content you need. It just needs structure. So let's unpack what that structure looks like. It starts with identifying stories and experiences and skills that you've accumulated over the years and put that as the foundation of your book. For example, you cannot make bread without flour. So these three aspects of your flour are gonna be essential. They're essential ingredients. You can't write a book, including your story, experience, without including your story, experiences, and your skills. The flower factor. So let's talk about that first aspect of your flower, which is your story. 
your story, in order to make it unforgettable, you have to have these three features. So we're talking about number one, a moment in time. So a moment in time could have been a phone call or what when you're walking into a room, something happened. Raising your hand, something happened. What's that specific moment? Because sometimes when we are thinking about crafting your story, you may say to yourself, it's a chronological experience, but not necessarily. It can be one specific moment in time. What happened in that moment? What were you feeling or experiencing? What were you thinking in your mind? Secondly, an event. An event could be when you're walking across the stage, when you were receiving um, you know, your, your, your certificate. Could it be that event, your first day in school, what you heard, what was told to you? Or like me as a father, that event when I saw my son, my baby boy coming into the world. What was that event? What that specific event said to me? What did it do to my heart? What was the experiences it, it allowed me to move from not just being a husband to now becoming a father? And then finally, your story can include a conversation. What did your teacher say that made you feel so moved that you never forgot that conversation? Perhaps it was words of wisdom that your grandmother left you. No matter what, these features are the basis of an unforgettable story. And you may already have these features or these aspects documented perhaps on a YouTube video or Facebook Live that you did months or weeks ago. Perhaps it's in a blog or a journal. So how to tell a story? Now in telling your story, I want you to think of these sentence stems. All right, this is a working shop, not, work, not just a workshop. Think and answer these questions. The time I was most fearful was when, dot, dot. What was that time? The greatest lesson that I have learned is, what were those lessons? Think about it. When I was a child, I, what event, what moment, what conversation that occurred in this experience? The only thing that radically changed my life was, what was that thing? What was that event? What was that conversation? And the biggest breakthrough came when. So documented in this framework, and it's going to allow you to unfold the pages. And more importantly, you are beginning to organize your thoughts, organize your experiences, organize the conversations, which will be the basis for your chapters. So make your experiences count. So when you are crafting your story, I want you to understand that your all of your experiences make you uniquely positioned to serve in a way that nobody else can. Some of you may be thinking, well, I'm a little embarrassed about what happened to me or I'm ashamed that I went through that experience. That's a natural feeling to have, but understand that although your story is a scar, it represents that God is still in the business to heal all wounds. So be transparent about what you've gone through. I always say that that which is most general, most personal rather, is also most general, meaning that your experience that's personal to you is actually has been experienced by more people than you actually realize. And it gives you the ability to have people like you, to know you, and to trust you. Your experiences are your unique serving proposition, your USP, meaning that although there are many coaches who do what you do or speakers who say what you say, because of the uniqueness of your story, you are positioned to be selected out of the crowd because folks like you, they know you, and now they trust you. So remember this, your success pathway. Many people think this was your success journey. Straight arrow from point A to point B. But truth be told, it was really like this, all right? So many twists and turns, up and down. And because of these experiences in this age of authenticity, people are more interested in buying you rather than buying your products or services. 
So by bringing your experiences together brings you into the marketplace and sets you apart from every other service provider. Here are additional questions that will help you in writing the chapters of your book so that the readers will engage with your content. Remember, these sentence stems are gonna propel you forward and remove any potential of writer's block. The second, the third element in sharing your story is gonna be making your skills count. So you want to look at all of the skills that you've developed, whether it's in leadership and motivation and problem solving, perhaps you specialize in an area by attending a college or a university. These two are stories that you can tell. Because remember that as much as folks care about you, they are also asking, what's in it for me? And so by sharing your skills, it takes the mystery out of the magic. You see, in terms of looking at your journey, there are specific skills that you practice or more so proficiencies that you have. When you interweave it with your story, people are able to see the problem that you solve or what you bring to the marketplace. So be unafraid to show people your genius, right? Be unafraid to let people know that what you provide is something that they can also appreciate and identify with. It's it's something they can not only learn from you, but it's something they can duplicate. Let's tackle this second myth. Will people listen to what I have to say? I feel like my message is important, but I'm not so sure if they'll hear what I have to say. So by now, you know how to organize your ideas in such a way that it connects to your audience. But you still may be going through this internal conversation and we want to take away this roadblock right now because the truth is people are searching for exactly what you have they just need to know that you exist we call this the oil factor so just as oil binds every other ingredient together when you're making bread. That's what your story does. It has the same effect. It will attract raving fans, loyal followers, students, and that's very key. Not just followers, but students who want to sit at your feet, absorb everything you have to teach. It's from crafting your story, you're able to create tribe, and more importantly, community where people will go on a long-term journey with you. So in this secret, the oil factor, we'll show you how to develop stories that not just tell, but also sell and have earned $15,000 in 15 minutes. You see, your story is your invitation. Oil will enter, will either attract or repel. So with the proper foundation being laid, your story will allow people to self-select. They'll raise their hand and say, choose me. I want to be your student. <laughs> or sometimes they will just say, stand up and they will reach out to you. Or more importantly, they will show up when you call. The oil factor, it makes people stick. You see, Google is a $1 trillion company built on answering questions. So it shows you that encoded in our DNA as human beings, we always have questions, we always have problems. And as an author, you must stand out as a solution to a person's problem. Your products and services, because you have written your story, it shows people that you can help them achieve a certain desire out of life. So think about this very clearly. There is a direct connection to crafting your message because you are actually saying, I solve a problem. I not only solve a problem, but I create a desire or I'm answering a specific question that you have or I am alleviating a pain. So crafting your message is going into the marketplace, writing your book, crafting your story is going into the marketplace and saying, I'm adding value to this space. And not only am I adding value, but I'm bringing solutions, desires, answers and alleviation. So now that you know how to craft stories that make your audience connect with you, you know how to share things to make your audience attract 
be attracted to you, you may still be wondering, do I have enough time to write my book? I want to do it, but I'm too busy to get it done. Well, the truth is you don't need a lot of time. You simply need the right strategy. So let's talk about the three D's of getting it done in 90 days or less. You see, Tiffany, she applied this strategy. The first D, what's not documented does not get done. Tiffany had piles and piles of journals from over 25 years documenting her experience. She knew that she wanted to help, but she didn't know what to do. So when she came to us, we told her that everything that you've documented, that can be applied to your book. So think about it. What do you presently have? What's in your inventory? What do you presently need? Because what you have right now, it could be journals, it could be a thesis, it could be notes, it could be audio recordings. What you have presently is an inventory that you can now begin to organize based on the strategies we outlined earlier. So from that, you are able to create an outline, record, use those speaking notes, use those journal ideas to really begin to put the pieces together. Perhaps you may even want someone to interview you to pull the story out of your belly, just like we did with Charmaine. Chapter by chapter, she was just able to speak all of her experiences and then turn that into a story, the outhouse to the outhouse, how she overcame the childhood poverty to then go on to give out well over $29 million as a leader in the nonprofit space. Secondly, we wanna to talk to you about what's not documented does not exist. You see, I remember when I was traveling to Egypt um, just a couple of months ago, and it was such an experience. It was a breathtaking experience for me. But I remember while being there and while visiting, you know, the wonders of the world and being in at those pyramids and while being guided by the tour guide, we were going down, um, we were going down a staircase into an actual tomb. It was just so many feet below, um, it was underground, it was scary, it was dark, and you would see the picture here of all of the carvings and the stories that are carved, um, you know, on stone. And I turned to the tour guide and I said to him, you know, I see there are parchment papers and I see the hieroglyphics that are on stone. And I asked the question, you know, why the choice of using stone to really etch all of history on it. And he said to me that in their belief that all of their journey, their science, their solutions is that their story is so critical that the eternal feature of stone represents the value of their story so that it can be passed on from generation to generation, that it must be preserved for all posterity. So I wanna say to you, that even with this history, thousands of years now, we know it exists. In the past, people depended on oral histories and storytelling from person to person. But when you craft your message, you are actually saying to the world that I've made a decision to not just make a mark in the world, but I've made a decision to impact the future. Just like Grace, who decided to take her skills from Wall Street to Main Street. She wanted to equip low-income families on the best ways to get themselves out of poverty and to a place of prosperity. You see, Grace understood that despite all of her success of being an advisor for over 5 billion transactions on Wall Street, if she did not translate that language, that message to a community that did not understand the importance of financial literacy, all of her life's work would have been in vain. So she first came to us as an expert in this field, still needing the essential strategy to move from blank page, to take all of the things that she has learned and translate that so that an audience who needs what she has so that it can be accessible to them. Just like Molly, 
she wanted to preserve the legacy of her sister, Amy, who happened to be the first American to be murdered during the apartheid protest in South Africa. You see, Molly was worried that if she continued delaying writing her book, that she wouldn't honor her sister and the process that she underwent to heal from the trauma of that devastating tragedy. Number three, documentation beats conversation any day. So when you understand that your book is evidence, meaning that everything that you've been through, all of the skills that you've gained has not been wasted. It is not in vain. Your book allows people to access your victories. Instead of you just telling them, you are showing them that is the power. It also demonstrates work that you've done. It's proof that you've done the work. You see, leaders, um, they make decisions based on what's written. So you may have the gift of gab, you may be inspirational, or you may be persuasive in your heart-to-heart -heart discussion with either people who you're looking to close a contract, or you're looking to speak on a stage, or you're looking to develop long-term relationships, but leaders are readers. After that interaction, after the engagement, after the elevator pitch, after the networking event, they make decisions based on hard facts and data. And your book allows them to have a glimpse into your passion, your mission, why you do what you do, who you serve. It's all documented and crafted in such a skillful way that's found in a book. And we've seen many, many authors who have worked within the Best Sellers Academy, they've been able to see a 30 to 58% increase in their speaking engagements and bookings because why? Decision makers can really feel the pulse of their mission and you're able to go on their stages to do the training and coaching, and you're able to support so many people. And that's why we've been able to help more than 1,375 authors be able to work in their passion and be able to move in their vision. I love that. I love that, Imwale, because this shows that it is possible what you may have overlooked and discounted as being credible or being viable. There are people who need exactly what you have to offer. You know, when we look at our catalog of authors that we've been able to help, it just demonstrates that this is not something unique to them, but it is expressly able to be translated into all that you have to offer to the world. So it's time to show up and serve. So don't let myth, this myth be your case. Asking yourself, will anyone buy my book? I'm not that well known. The truth is, is that success is not a matter of time. But it's a matter of tea. You know, when we look at this particular strategy, we call this the yeast factor. As we're making our bread and we have the, the flour and we have the oil, now we need the yeast. You see, yeast causes your bread to rise. And just like yeast, your book will cause you to rise and move from obscurity to visibility as an author. You see, the yeast factor allows you to gain the visibility and the credibility by sharing your expertise in the world. So that your message becomes a movement. You see, authorship success. It, this represents that after our authors have written their books, they've been able to generate over $1 million in revenue. You see, when you think about doing and crafting your message, it's about leverage. How you, can you take the legacy journey and turn that into leverage and creating what we call an income ecosystem? Because always remember, the thrust of the decision to write and craft your message is not about leaving a legacy, but living a legacy. Your book is the foundation for your speaking engagement. It's the foundation for your digital course. It's the foundation for the service aspects that you provide, be it conferences, be it coaching, be it one-on-one -on -one coaching, be it masterminding. Remember this, authorship is entrepreneurship. 
Whenever we talk about crafting your message, it's not about just putting it on the shelf and looking at it. You've made a decision. You're very, very clear. The purpose for writing my story, the purpose for not just writing a story, but a best-selling story is so that you can launch a best-selling business. I love that. You know, see, Grace, she had multiple speaking engagements as a result of writing. Uh, she had media interviews, international media, as well as local media. They were beating down her door to try to capture how can a woman who wasn't even uh, born in privilege go from being homeless to becoming a millionaire. Her virtual talks were extremely jam-packed. Uh, she got keynote addresses and all it was built on her showing up with her USP, her unique serving proposition because of her book. You see, this industry pays, and I want you to think clearly about it. The self-help industry, I remember when I met Lisa at Speaking Right to Make Millions and at that event in Atlanta, and she had shown me personally how to support thousands of people how to grow a profit-based business simply based on their passion. So I want you to know that even as you engage, even as you really look at how you shape this message, that you know that you're positioning yourself for the abundance that you deserve. So it's okay to make an impact and an income. Uh, when we look at this industry, we are blown away that so many people have walked away from their nine to five jobs and they have earned $88,000 uh, by motivational speaking alone. So no matter whether you are looking to write your story so that you can have a legacy or to leverage it into a new passion-based business, your book will provide that for you. So now you have all the ingredients to make your bread. Now what? It's time to get to bacon. Mm, delicious. <laughs> you see, there are more than 35 critical components of the writing and publishing process. What you see before you is really a critical snapshot of what you need, but there is more. There's ghostwriting, copywriting, chapters outlining, distribution, calls to actions, pictures, graphics, formatting, transcription, translation, oh my. <laughs> yeah, marketing, you know, there's so many pieces, but we have shared with you three very important aspects to go from blank page to published book, but there's so, so much more that will really, really sometimes put you in overwhelm or brings you into awareness of how in intricate this experience is that positions you to launch a best-selling book. So choose wisely. If you try to make bread without those essential ingredients, it may end up looking something like this. Oh boy. <laughs> where, the, where the baker, she uh, served bread, but it simply wasn't ready. It had holes in it. Don't let your book have holes in it. Don't let your book end up looking like this. This baker had a very powerful vision. They worked so hard to get all of the features of this monkey in place, but didn't know the right temperature at which to bake this cake. It melted into a blob of despair. Don't let your story suffer from the unfortunate fate of many books that are released into the world without the right support it needs to impact generations. You wanna be this baker. This baker started with a professional plan and had the right ingredients. The result, a beautiful handcrafted slice of bread. So will this work for you? The answer is yes. This 90 day authorship system will work. It provides the right roadmap and the right strategy to move you from confusion to clarity. You see, you might be like this, where so many times your efforts and passions, you're continuously trying to sort through your ideas. They're so disorganized. Sometimes you, what you're looking for is at the bottom of this bag. But with this roadmap plan, it takes you into three specific phases and stages from preparation to foundation, then to implementation. 
The preparation part is where we really support you with gleaning that type of clarity, helping you understand the big idea, moving you from confusion to clarity, then talking about your perfect title, understanding that words tell, but title sells. And how do you really design, number three, a professional cover whereby you are no longer an amateur, but you're top shelf ready, a best-selling author. And then all about developing your book outline so that you will go from overwhelmed to organized. We believe that uh, the foundation of a strong book starts with a strong outline. And then you wanna have the right editing dream team so that your book can look as beautiful on the inside as it does on the outside. And that leads us to our stage of moving you from drab to fab formatting your work so that it is professional and has a touch of class. And now we're talking about implementation. How do you really move from that place of, of pre-launch, thinking about the future? Because remember, authorship is entrepreneurship. We want to position you in the marketplace. We want you to think strategically of how do I take this story into the marketplace and have not just an impact, but an income. So pre-launch tells you to move from snoozeworthy to buzzworthy, creating that tribe and that community. And then we're talking about your book launch, moving from being invisible to unmissable. People are very clear why you are in the marketplace, what you provide, they see themselves in you and they choose you every time. That's where you will be selling out. We want you to go from overlooked to overbooked and being booked for those speaking engagements, for those keynote addresses, and for you being able to have the type of effect that make you unforgettable. So will this work for you? Yes. Having the right team, because remember, success is not a matter of time, but it is a matter of team. Oprah, she had Gail. Kobe had Shaq. Barack had his Michelle. And now you have Mwale and Chantel. So teamwork means the dream work. And we want to support you in partnering with you, locking arms with you, so that you would be able to not just manifest what your expectation has always been, but actually making that a reality. So here's the deal. You stayed on this webinar for this long for a reason, and it's probably because you really want this. Obviously, nobody succeeds on their own. Just look at the world's most successful people. They all have teams. That's why you are smart to invest in coaching and accountability and in a community. So let us share what we put together just for you. So in working with us and using the roadmap and having us on your team, you're gonna get the ability for us to pull that story out of your belly and turn it into a book. It's a hand holding process where we hold your hand through four to 10 coaching sessions. And not only are you just being guided through accountability and a safe space of, of community, but you have more importantly, the flex flexibility to leverage. If you are strong, you can speak your book, all right? You don't have to think about, I don't think I have the time to actually write. I know what I wanna say. We're gonna bring you to that place where you could speak your book, send those audio recordings and support you in transcribing and doing all of the writing. Or perhaps you want us to just speak to you chapter by chapter through an interview and turn that conversation into an incredible book and then ghostwrite it. Definitely. So we provide all the stages of formatting, taking that content, translating it into a digital course. You know, we really sit with you and think about the revenue wheel, income wheel, and do all the stages of editing, do the book cover design. Listen, when time, when success is at the door, God always sends the right team to take you there. That's right. And we don't want to just take you into having a great book, but we also want you to go from overlooked to overbooked. And so that means coming up with a unique social media plan and a traditional media plan so that you are able to stand out. And most importantly, we guarantee that you will be an international best-selling author. Woo. So here 
is where community begins. We understand that you are doing this because you want to do it for yourself, but you got to remember that you're not going to be by yourself. So accountability is key. And as a coaches, we're going to provide that type of handholding and more importantly, create a type of results, the results that you deserve, the results that many, many people who were able to see many businesses were able to move, not just by growing best-selling books, but launching best-selling businesses. Here's the deal. Over the next 90 days, a select few of you will have an opportunity to have us write your book for you and hold your hand every step of the way. There are a few conditions that you need to be aware of. The first thing is that over the next 90 days, we are only working with 10 new authors. Our coaching calendar is typically full two months in advance. And the second criteria is we only work with people who we think will see results. So you must have what it takes. So you must apply. We have a simple application process uh, for you to fill out to see if you're a right person for this particular opportunity. You must be teachable, have what it takes to be successful, and actually execute to get results. So here's what you're going to do next. Press the book a call button now. Grab a time on our calendar. When you click on that, it will open a simple calendar that will allow you to grab a time on our personal calendar. Well, there will also just be a few questions to answer about yourself so that we can just get a good feel before we hop on a free call together. And once we've received your info, We'll send you a quick email just to remind you of the time you, that you've booked for the call and we'll meet you via Zoom on that day, face-to-face, heart-to-heart. After you book a time, we'll give you a call on your scheduled date to see if you are a good fit. So over the next 90 days, we're only working with just 10 authors, just 10. So our coaching calendar is typically full within the two, two months in advance. So remember that. We wanted to reiterate that because to wait is to utterly rob yourself of this opportunity. Notice number one, we have to put this on there because we want you to be fully aware that this opportunity expires when the webinar ends. So we need you to be available for your strategy session within three days after you've requested it. If you're not there, then you'll forfeit that spot to be one of our new authors in our cohorts, which also means that you will be suppressing your story and success that is in this place that should be no longer. And you and I both know that there is a price to pay for procrastination, even though it feels okay in the moment. This webinar training is getting viewed by hundreds of people over the next few days, and the strategy sessions are only on a first-come, first-served basis. With that said, you and I both know our available time slots will be reserved fast, so you need to go ahead and reserve your spot now. So congratulations. You are one step closer to turning your story into an international best-selling book. So be sure to jot down the date and time Place a reminder in your calendar, and we look forward to talking to you soon in this free strategy session.